what I have here is an adjustable voltage alternating current supply, AC, connected to a push switch and then the push switch is connected to a coil. The coil is wrapped around a metal core and around the metal core is a ring of aluminium which is a good conductor. Now let's see what happens if I switch on the current. Now the explanation that you'll see in most textbooks about the jumping ring experiment is this. Initially, because the switch is off, there is no current in the coil and so therefore there's no magnetic field. The moment that I press the switch, there's a sudden increase in the current through the coil. So there's a sudden increase in the magnetic field and therefore a sudden increase in the amount of magnetic flux running through this core. Because the ring is around the core, that means there's also a sudden increase in the amount of magnetic flux running through the ring. Now you should know that whenever there is an increase in the amount of flux through a ring of conductor, you will induce a current in that conductor. Now Lenz law says that the direction of the current that you induce is going to be such that the magnetic field created by that induced current will oppose the change in field that induced it in the first place. Okay, so let's think carefully about this. I start off, I have no magnetic field. Then I have, all of a sudden I have an increasing magnetic field. So that means that I have to induce a current that will give me a magnetic field that opposes that increasing magnetic field. So to oppose that increasing magnetic field, the magnetic field due to the ring current needs to point in the opposite direction of that field. So now we have this producing a field pointing in the opposite direction of the field around this core, so they repel each other and the ring flies up. So that's the explanation that you may have heard. But actually that's only half the story. Suppose now I take the ring, I push the button, so now there's already a magnetic field passing through there, and I put the ring on there. Okay, the ring is still repelled, but it's not jumping over my head. There's something different about this situation and this situation. Now, in the first instance, remember I talked about this sudden increase in the magnetic field. Now, when you have a sudden increase in something, scientists call that a transient. So we have what's called a transient increase in the magnetic field. In the second situation, there's no transient. I, have, I still have a changing magnetic field, but it's not a sudden increase. Because this is alternating current, I have a magnetic field that's changing 50 times a second. At least in, in Australia it's 50 times a second because we have 50 hertz alternating current coming out of, our, uh, out of our sockets. So what's going on here? Now we'll need to cut because I haven't thought about this explanation.
Thank you.